Good morning, everybody. You might be curious as to why I'm starting this vlog out at daybreak. Let me show you. So, our pug, my little old man, he has got a cancer tumor that has come up on his neck and fast. So, I took him to the vet last Friday and he said, it's definitely cancer and we need to do surgery to remove it. So, I am on the road this morning with him to drive an hour away to the vet to have his surgery. Bye, I love you. I love you. I'll call you in a little bit. To say my nerves are shot is an understatement. Really anxious this morning. The vet seems to think he'll be okay. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated. But for now, I gotta get on the road because I got a long way to go. Good old Siri took me down every back road you could imagine. And then brought me out on Highway 80 and I'm like, are you serious? It took me through all these hoops and jumps to get me to Highway 80. There was a much easier way. I am 10 miles away. I'm absolutely about to bust to pee. My nerves are just a mess right now. Praying the surgery goes okay. The tumor that he's got on his neck, you guys. Well, you remember when we went to Gatlinburg. I mean, he was with us and perfectly fine. Nothing there. This tumor is, I mean, it's rapidly grown. It came up and he scratched it open. For one, the vet told me Friday when I took him, it's Wednesday today because he was going to be out of town and stuff. So I had to schedule his surgery five days out, but it's grown since then. But he told me, he said, you're doing a good job keeping it clean. He said, but try your best to keep him from scratching it open. His cone that I ordered, I ordered two. One was too small and this one's too big. My luck. But he figured out the Velcro, it's got a big Velcro thing. There's still like this much left over because it's too big. He figured out how to roll it on my carpet and get the Velcro part stuck to the carpet and pull it off. Well, Sunday, he got it off, and we were eating breakfast, and we, me and Sean both heard it, but by the time he rolled it off, it's, he'd scratched three times and opened it up. But he was on antibiotics, so I just cleaned it, bandaged him back up, okay, you know, kept giving him his antibiotics, and they got him on pain medicine, too, because it's right here. Started out this big, and it's this big in no time. Well, now you could say a week and a half, two weeks. He's pretty confident that he'll get through the surgery good. It's just until they call me and are like, hey, he's out, he's recovering, I'm gonna be anxious. Well, y'all seen the title. I'm moving out of the house. You're moving, he's moving his office, you guys. On the property right up there to the building that's about 12 foot away. Sorry for the clickbait. We had to do it. You're so dramatic. Moving the office out. That's all his idea, by the way. Uh huh. He's well, I mean, you know us. We're good for pranks. Why can't we prank you? You know, that's true. We ain't never pranked y'all. All jokes aside, I'm moving my office up in to where I used to do the t shirts and we done the podcast. So the kids has got a dedicated room for school. It'll make life easier I don't on know everybody. If they can even see me. This living room, it's not very big at all but it will be per you know for one sean needs quiet when he's working and when he's editing videos he, he you just well when i'm making shirts or anything i need a little bit of quiet i'm add squirrel and it's worse than a squirrel like a pin can drop and i'm i'm off phone to the races yeah my desk i'm gonna leave in here for ordering shirts and things i'm still gonna leave that in here he's just gonna move the editing and things up there well not to mention there's a lot of expensive stuff that stays around my desk you know and little memory cards uh cameras all kinds of stuff yeah. drones that the, the kids will destroy if they get a hold of so but that's this, why we keep them out of here this room has got a big tv which will be great for lessons most of colton's lessons that he'll be starting this next, next august through a cellist it'll be a lot video based so that'll be cool but it's got this big window so much light in we're going to put a big old chalkboard actually where we got our bed the other day they had a stand-up chalkboard and it's so nice and it's on clearance right now well it could be mounted easy I think it yeah. needs to be mounted on the wall to begin but with. It, one side was chalkboard, the other was dry erase. So that will be great for helping learn, right? We're going to find us a cheap table to put in here. That way if they get paint on it, marker, water, it doesn't matter. I'm but glad this desk comes apart in sections. This is going to be a giant playroom, learning room, school room, 
through the winter. Keep us, keep these youngins occupied some. Let's move this out of the house. I killed all the lights. I'm so glad this desk comes apart. It's only three bolts. Oh, I was wrong, it's four. Ta-da! Now the question is, do I want to take this top off to make it a little easier? I mean, that's a little door in a tight spot. Yeah, I'm gonna take the top off. Bubba come decorated my desk one day for me. Eight bolts to make my life a little easier. I'll take that. Well, the desk has been disassembled and ready to be packed out of here and reassembled. And boom, here we are. I got about 500 more trips to go. Got the monitors, Mac Studio, got all my little trinkets, the cameras, the memory cards. Uh, I'm gonna use this place up here to charge all the batteries and stuff. But here we are. Kids has got a classroom, daddy's got his man cave. I may even get me a little TV and put up here. I don't know, we'll see. And you know, I don't think y'all understand how many times I picked this desk up to get that footage. I need air conditioner up here. Even though it's getting on winter time, it's warm up here. I might just do that. Hey, is that hard work? No, it's not hard work. It's not hard work? It's that thing's as big as you. That's so Whew, okay, I got home. You need a rest. You need a rest. That is hard work, huh? You gonna bounce it all the way up to the trampoline? Bouncing. I got home and got straight to work. Mommy, yeah, I, I know. You guys, we are eat up with yellow jackets. Again, this time of year is terrible up here. You know, we obviously are surrounded by trees everywhere and the leaves fall and we've got these wood piles and yellow jackets like to make their nest in the ground and piles of wood leaves so this time of year is atrocious it's my favorite time but not the yellow jackets i came out yesterday morning as soon as i stepped outside stung in the back by a yellow jacket and it hurt but anyhow, I got home, got straight to work on pulling all the bedding out of the kennels. Their beds is foam and then it has a waterproof cover and a cover on top of that. And then I always put them a blanket in there. So I got all of that washed and I got uh, their dog bed, the one they sleep on in the living room floor during the day and stuff lay around on. Got that one washed, got it in the dryer now. So it's one or one thirty, and I'm still waiting for them to call me. I think if they haven't called by two, I'm going to call them. I am coming to the jump jump. My gosh, you are so strong, buddy. You got Bleepy on the trampoline? Where's my Blippi? You jumping with Blippi? Spider-Man shirt and jumping with Blippi. <laughs> Get on him and jump. All right, go. Go. Oh, oh no. Is that hard work? Yeah. It's so fun, so bright. It's so fun? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I love the net on this trampoline. It has been an absolute lifesaver. I think no matter how big they get, ah! if we eventually have to get another whoa. one, I'm still gonna get one with the net on it. Oh, oh man. Oh, put it back on, because there's waspers everywhere in the grass. Where's it at? Well, bring it here to me. I put a noise. Oh, you did? Good job. job. Y'all right, Bubba? 
Mommy's gonna go get the leaf blower, okay? I'll be right back. I'm gonna blow the leaves off the trampoline. I'll be right back. As I say, I got stung in the back by a bee the other day, and I also got stung on the forearm. I've been walking around with a shoe, flinging the yellow jackets away. Probably look like a crazy person. The mail people's probably like, what in the world here? They pull up to deliver the mail, and I got a shoe in my hands. We've got eight bee bags out, and they are full, and they're still everywhere. Look at the amount of leaves, and they're not even done. They're halfway. They're halfway done. Just in case it ain't, I'm gonna save myself some time and go ahead and put a little bit in there. Okay. You wanted no. to see yourself? No. Tell them no, there's bees no, everywhere. No, no. Cece. No. You guys, I was sitting here thinking, I was watching the bees fly around, but when, I'm gonna say the book of faces. When I had posted the other day that I had gotten stung on the back, all of our friends from the UK was like, hey, what's a yellow jacket? So for all of our, our UK friends and people in other places that may not know, Hi. yellow jacket is a, type of a wasp. When they sting, it hurts really, really bad. And it itches for like three days. Everything around it turns red and gets, you know, sore. They're mean little boogers. You okay? So anyhow, I figured I should throw that out there because we definitely have um, a few people from the UK on here. I see comment all the time. Don't get in that creek. There's bees over there. I kind of push the leaves away from their playhouse and the trampoline and just kind of put them over there so we can cut them up with the mower. They are all in those leaves. So I try to keep around their play area clear. What is that? A rock? Stay out of the creek, bud. There's bees. So I just looked up the veterinary clinic and I guess they're on lunch till two o'clock. They're closed till two. So I think call me by like 2 10, 2 15. I'm gonna be that person and I'm calling. I want to know how my dog's doing. Apparently y'all got left up there. I come down, got another trip of stuff out of the office room. And uh, Megan's like, I really need the camera. Will you go up there and get it for me? I'll tell you this, moving that office was a lot more. It wasn't hard. It was just the tons of tiny little things I had. I should have put them in a big tote and took them all up there at once. But I don't think. I need to call the vet. Oh, yeah. It's 10 after 2. I'm calling. You said you needed the camera. Yeah, I left it in the backyard. I, I needed it down here, not laying up there in the grass, but I'm going to call the vet. I want to know about my dog. They just called from the vet. Pugly made it out of surgery. Okay, and he is doing good. Sean's going to pick him up and bring him home. They said he has staples, um, so I have to take him in. She said seven to 10 days to get those took out. But now they come here in our county on Fridays. So I'm hoping maybe I can just schedule, uh, cause it's like five miles away instead of an hour. So I think what I'm gonna do is call this Friday while they're up here at our clinic and go ahead and schedule him for next Friday. Cause that'll be today's Wednesday. I don't know, that might not work out days wise. So we'll see, hopefully I can go to this one, but he is good. Dad is going to get him and I'll just be so happy to have my puppy home and him hopefully start feeling better. Good morning, my little old man. You guys, he is, it is the next morning. The hey. sun, sun is just coming up. But hey. I wanted to show you guys he is home and he's done really good last night. Hey. Yeah. Hey. They done a great job on his neck. His hey. <laughs> he looks normal hey. again. Show him what you got. What mommy get you? They're orange. Reindeer? Reindeer. You got some reindeer too. I do too. I see me things. So cute. When it's cold outside, you guys can take them outside and play. Play. Our little old man is home and he is doing good. He just ate him a big old bowl of soft food and drunk a ton of water and went outside and used the bathrooms. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, 
Have I ever told you that you are so cute? Are you, oh. are you playing trucks? The sun just came up. Uh -huh.